not wonder, though you think it strange, to see me hold my lowering head so low, and that mine eyes take no delight to range about the gleams which on your face do grow. The mouse which once hath broken out of trap is seldom ties with the trustless bait, but lies aloof for fear of more mishap, and feedeth still in doubt of deep deceit. The scorched fly which once hath escaped the flame will hardly come to play again with fire, whereby I learn that grievous is the game which follows fancy dazzled by desire, so that I wink or else hold down my head, because your blazing eyes my bale have bred. Okay, so our poem is For That He Looked Not Upon Her, and to start, for a speaker, it's George Coigne, and he wrote it in 17, or 1573, because he is a 16th century English poet. Um, his audience is anyone back in that time period. Um, his purpose was to show his feelings and show like how he was, his emotions were at the time. And the subject is himself and his emotions. For the tone of the poem, it comes across very harsh and miserable. And some of the diction that we really thought showed that were some of the ones I'm underlining. So, broken and scorched and escaped the flame. Um, some of the figurative language he uses is metaphors. In line five, he uses the mouse as a metaphor for himself. And same thing in line 9, the scorched fly is a rep representation of himself. For um, rhyme, he uses an A, B, A, B pattern, and so strange and range, and then like low and grow, and that is constant throughout until the last two lines where he has an ending couplet. which has a different rhyme scheme from the rest. And overall, the poem is a 14-line sonnet.